What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is four questions not to ask Americans. A new channel on the, on the uh, channel today, as I should say. Um, never checked out this channel no. before, not sure what to expect, but uh, I'm ready for it, are you? Yeah, it'd be interesting. S smash that like button if you enjoy this kind of content, guys. Smash that subscribe button as well, you absolute legends. And uh, I feel like one of them has definitely got to be politics. Yeah. It's got to be politics, surely. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. Unless we're going to like four questions completely that left we've field not heard of, yeah. as a shock. But politics, I'm guessing, is one of them. I'm not sure about the other three. Smash that button, smash the subscribe button, and are you ready? I'm ready to go. Let's. It, it'll be good to know because whenever we visit, we'll just avoid these four questions. Yeah. Assuming they're not ridiculous since he's taking a mic. Yeah. We'll see. Hey everyone, Dana here. And I've recently gotten several messages and comments from people saying that they're going to be going to the US for the first time soon. And they would like to know kind of what they shouldn't say, what they should watch out for so that they don't offend or upset anyone. And so today I'm going to be talking about a few questions that you just shouldn't ask Americans because they're considered rude questions or these questions might make people feel uncomfortable. Leading up to this video, I've been... Because we're going into... She's... All right, she's panned it the way of if you're going to America, so I'm expecting questions which are not rude anywhere else. Right. So like, I really hope asking salary isn't one because that is rude everywhere, I'd say. Yeah. Asking someone how much you earn is rude everywhere. So, yeah, like Because why would you, why do you on holiday and go, how much you earn? Do yeah, you know what I mean? That wouldn't, we wouldn't ask that. So I'm going to be a little annoyed if it is, yeah. but we won't hold it against her if it is, but I'll be a bit annoyed. I've been thinking more <laughs> about the differences between Americans and Germans, and one thing that I realized that I find really, really interesting is that in the US, as I've said in other videos, in general, Americans are more open to talking with strangers, having okay. small conversations with people that we don't know. For example, in line at the grocery store. Of course, you have to read the people around you and make sure that nobody's in like a really grumpy mood, but it's not so crazy to think that if I'm in line at the grocery store in the US and I see that the person behind me is unpacking frozen hot dogs and hamburgers and buns and marshmallows onto the conveyor belt, and if the mood is nice and light, I could and say something like, hey, you having a cookout this weekend? You know, if it's a Friday, then they might say, yeah, I am having a cookout. The weather's supposed mm -hmm. to be great. It's the 4th of July. I might say, oh yeah, last weekend I tried to have a cookout. I had everything ready and then it rained. You know, you just end up with a, a nice, light little conversation. That's that God makes do. the yeah, that waiting in the line a lot less painful, more pleasant. And for me, it just brightens my whole day. Having those little social interactions, I really love them. Now let's say you're in the US, I'm an American, I get invited to a party in the US, I go to the party and it's a bunch of people that I don't know, complete strangers or possibly people that I've met once at another party the previous year, but I don't really know them. So what kind of conversations am I going to have with these people? Well, pretty much the same level conversation as what I had with the person in the grocery store. I don't know these people at the party, so I'm just gonna talk to them about movies, foods that I like, the new restaurant that just opened up, keeping it nice and light and fun and fluffy. Okay, now let's say- What would you, what would you speak? In that scenario, let us know in the comments your top three subjects you would speak about if you met someone new at a party. Mine would be, I don't know about top three, sport, job, i talk about the job. Mm. Oh, where do you work? Oh, whatever. And then maybe where they're from, if that makes okay. sense. From job and sport, but sport is always number one. Oh, do you like football? Soccer for you guys? I don't know, because I've never been in the situation where you've been in situations where you've had to talk about it. Yeah. Like in taxis, you talk about it. Yeah, I, I talk about sport all the time. Silent, I don't say anything. <laughs> I don't know. No, in taxi, my standard but line is... Personally, not to be like that person that doesn't tell the answer, I don't think, personally, I would go to a party where I don't really know people. But personally, yeah, no, I wouldn't okay. put myself in that position anyway. You'd just rob stay at home, wouldn't you? I'd rather stay in bed. Oh, yeah, I think like, you would. So I wouldn't... I don't know what I'd do because I don't think I would ever go to a yeah. party I don't know people like But in a taxi, my, my one line is, you been busy tonight, mate? Oh, I don't yeah, I just sit there quietly. And then, oh, where are you from? And then it's sport. It li that is literally like my routine. Normally, I'm drunk. <laughs> Say you're in Germany. Much I don't know what would happen if I saw someone in line at the grocery store pulling out hamburgers and hot dogs. 
or well, they wouldn't be pulling out hamburgers and hot dogs because you can't buy frozen hamburgers and hot dogs, I think, here in Germany, but maybe they're pulling out uh, spaghetti and marinara sauce. And I said to them, hey, you having pasta night? I don't know what that person would say, but I don't think that they would be very comfortable with me trying to engage in conversation. Okay. They would be like, whoa, whoa, I don't even know this person. Why is she asking me these personal questions about what I'm having for dinner this weekend? But now that. let's yeah. go to a party in Germany. And again, these are people that I don't really know. Maybe I've met them once or twice or they're complete strangers, but they're definitely not my close, close friends. I would like to talk about movies and, you know, light, fluffy stuff. But from my experience living in Germany, I get the feeling that Germans are, for the most part, not really satisfied by those kinds of light and fluffy, or as they call them, superficial conversations. A lot of times I've noticed people here in Germany want to get into more deeper conversations. And I think that's really interesting. I can be draining because and on interesting. the one hand, Germans seem to feel like it's an invasion of their personal space to make small talk with someone they don't know at the grocery store to talk about their plans for the weekend. But then when I meet them for the first time at a party, they're often, from my experience, very quick to talk about things that I consider on a deeper level that I'm, oh, wow. I'm not ready to talk to you about because yes, we're at a party together, but I just met you. So I don't want to talk about politics. No go question number one that you do not ask an American is. So there we go. who did you vote for in the last election? I learned this from a very young age. My parents taught me when I was little that this is not a question that you asked people. When I was like five, I asked them. Again, we'll never ask you guys. We, we don't even enter the debate in politics. I just want to say, I suppose it depends what age group you are in the UK, but I'd say our age group. So I feel like between, so if I asked another eight, like another 23 year old that I was good friends with, yeah. it wouldn't be a big deal. Okay. But I mean, I wouldn't, but like, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, but if you asked someone of an older generation, I feel like it's a bit. Yeah, whereas my answer was going to be, I feel like between mates and just, if it were my age group, like friends of friends or whatever, like at a party, it'd just be banner. And like someone being posh, you take the mick out of them or being a Tory or something like that and then vice versa either way. So the politics is kind of just a bit of banter and everyone gets it as a joke, if that makes sense, F from my experience as well. Um, but again, like you ask an old person, or well, I, I say an old person, an older person, and uh, I, there might be a little bit more reserved mind there. But um, in America, we stay away from that, don't we? <laughs> we stay away. My parents, so who did you vote for? And they sat me down and said, it's okay. We're your parents, so you can ask us that. And we're happy to tell you who we voted for and why. But just so you know, that is not an appropriate question to ask your friend's parents. So why don't Americans like to talk politics? Well, if you haven't noticed, the US is pretty much divided 50-50 right down the middle on some really sensitive, hot button topics. And each side really, 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 really feels like they are right and like the other side is going to destroy the country. People take these topics pretty seriously. And so if you ask, hey, who did you vote for? That's not just asking for a name. When you tell who you voted for, you're often telling how you feel about all of those very sensitive hot button topics. And if you and the other people in the room don't agree, and because people really feel like the other side is so, 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 so wrong and is going to ruin the country and humanity and everything on the planet, it ends often really messy. And I what was imagine. a yeah. fun and happy party suddenly turns just everyone's in a really bad mood. Another no-go question would be, so how much money do you earn? Yeah, that's oh, everywhere though, isn't it? question yeah, I, I feel think like both for of those the most everywhere. part would make... Maybe it's not in Germany. Again, we can only speak for UK, can't we? I feel like, yeah, politics is something that you stay away from in England, definitely, I feel like, anyway, in general. Strangers, yeah, you would, definitely. I feel um, like money, you wouldn't ask anybody that. Like yeah, your friends wouldn't even ask you how much money you make. No, they might potentially the talk and all that right. and chat, but I don't go, how much money do you make? You know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah, I guess... I, I mean, get... my, like, my mum, par our parents wouldn't actually ask directly. Oh, exactly. I've never asked parents. I've never, how much asked, money do you make? never asked parents how much we've asked. Yeah. I don't know about you. But um, I guess maybe, again, at our age with mates, it's just a bit of banter between each other. 
Yeah, or I'm getting this much, how much are you getting for your job? Like, yeah, 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 because you're learning together, I guess. But in general, you wouldn't. Mm. I think these are very generic. Again, maybe different in Germany. We, we can't be. speak for Germans. If you are German, let us know in the comments. Make many Americans really uncomfortable because this is our own personal, um, private information. And now by asking this, you've put us on the spot to share it with you. And we don't want to be rude, but at the same time, it's private information. Me personally, I would not feel comfortable talking about this with anyone other than my spouse, maybe my parents, and maybe a closest, closest, closest mm. best friend. Some Americans might feel totally comfortable sharing this information, but you just don't know. And so I guess the rule here would be, if you have to ask for the information, then you it's probably, probably none of your business. Yeah. If they want to tell you, they'll tell you. It's like we share that information know with you. About but I wouldn't yeah. say anybody else knows Al's. No, definitely not. And if I told someone, fair enough. But if someone asked me, I'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm not telling you now. Why do you want to yeah, know? Yeah, it's different if people ask whether then you tell. It's different. Yeah, and again, if it was a close mate and we're like, look, I'm trying to get a mortgage or whatever. And let's say we we don't have one, unfortunately. But let's say we had one. And it's like, how, like I've got this much. Do you think I'll get one? Yeah. I'd go, look, I got one off this. Like, that is yeah. mine. And because it's a close friend, but... They haven't directly asked me then, have they? No. I'm offering it up. Makes sense. About how much they're making, then they will. But here in Germany, I've noticed that that's really not the case. People seem to be super comfortable and open talking oh, wow. about how much they earn. I've never asked any of my German friends how much they earn because, oh my goodness, I can't even imagine asking that. But I've had lots of my friends ask me, not just from YouTube because they're curious about what youtubers earn but in general with all of my jobs oh you got a new job congratulations so how much are they paying you <gasps> Whoa, what do i say also two years ago mr german man and i did the expat in the city fair and we had a booth there where we were showcasing my youtube videos there were actually a lot of german people at the expat in the city fair which was really interesting 99 percent of all of the german people that came by my booth her first question was so how much money do you make with that and wow. these are people that aren't even at a party i totally don't know that just and I strange just was asking taken back i had no idea i was left with like you don't want to be rude and be like oh it's none of your business but that's all i was thinking the I next like no go question kind, of question kind of goes along with like the youtube thing it's less i feel like asking about youtube it's less it's being more curious, nosy isn't and it? more being curious it's not like they want to know to a t what you're making every single month yeah it's more like a bit of a off, on interest how much does YouTube videos make? Yeah, like... Okay. I think it's more... Yeah, it's more just just being interested than actually being nosy. Because potentially you watch them on, you're like, oh, okay, you know what I mean? And I guess, again, if yeah. you watch them on, you feel close to them. There's people I watch, and, and I'm like, I wonder in my head how much money they're making off these videos. Yeah, you know exactly. Like, you see, the amount of views they get, yeah. you think, wow. But so I, I guess it's just... But I would never say to them, yo, how much money do you make? Yeah, well, we don't speak to them at the end of the day, do we? But yeah, it, I guess it's that... Because YouTube is quite, like, we've got with you guys quite a close connection without being a close connection, if that makes sense. Yeah. You're not directly talking to someone, but you feel like you've got a connection. We feel like you, we've got a connection with you guys in the comments on Discord and stuff like that. Some of you guys tell us you feel like we've got a connection. So I, I get it, but then it is also a bit rude. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It, like, it's one of them. <laughs> Along with the last one, and that would be, hey, you got a new, insert big expensive item here. How much did it cost? I guess Americans just don't feel comfortable talking about finances in general. How much we paid for something, how much we earn. That's our own okay. private thing. And I would say in the US, how much someone is going to feel uncomfortable with this question also has to do with how expensive the item in question is. So are you talking about a house or a car? Or are you talking about a bag that you bought at Old Navy or Target or something for $25. If you say, oh, I love that new bag from Old Navy. I was thinking of going there this weekend. Can I just ask you, how much did you pay for that? Just so I know. Not a big deal. That's okay. And the last no-go question for today is, so what religion are you? This is again, a very private and personal thing for many Americans. Yeah. And they might feel uncomfortable if you put them on the spot for an yeah. answer. If you're friends with someone in the US, as your relationship grows, this will probably come out organically. You'll share this 
just kind of in conversation when you feel comfortable as you learn about how you are the same and different. In the US, good small talk conversations at parties or with people that you've just met a few times or your coworkers, good topics include sports, movies, yeah, sports is always a good music, one. food, food is always a good one, books, phone apps, the city you're in, viral videos that you've seen recently, TV shows, work, travel, hobbies, school, podcasts. So if you're someone who just can never think of good small talk topics, take a screenshot of this and use it as inspiration. It's a good shout out. not talking home. about- <laughs> Yeah, I'll just stay home and then go to a party. <laughs> um, on the two, which we've just heard, religion, again, it just, I feel like any direct question on the spot, it just seems rude because it, it feels like you're only asking to judge. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I would never ask someone what religion they are. I think if you're in conversation flowing and religion came up and you went, I, I'm this, oh, what about you? Yeah. And if they wanted to tell you, they could. If See, not, for me, like those deal. sort of things, it's like if you if you get to know them, you'll eventually find out because you'll just you'll True. know. True, yep. And if you don't know, then you don't need to know. And what, like, what's, it doesn't make a difference. Why does it matter to you what religion they are? Like, you either like them or you don't. You know what I mean? Yeah, their religion means nothing. It's what they believe, so it's their belief. Definitely. And then on the asking thing, again, I, I think it just depends. I feel like even if it is potentially like a two grand TV, so my work, oh, I've just got this TV, and I was curious about buying one, I wanted to buy one. Oh, if you don't, I, I feel like you always got to caveat it with, and I do caveat it, if you don't mind me asking. Yeah. Because you've kind of gone... If you don't mind me asking, mate, how much did you pay for it? I'm thinking about yeah, getting one myself. I feel like in the UK, that's not a big deal, is it? That? Not really. I thought I'd ask all the I couldn't think time. of anything that someone would buy that I wouldn't ask if I did, if wasn't, do you know what I mean? If you was if interested. If I was interested, that I wouldn't, I'd be like, no, I can't answer that, that's rude. I'm not yeah. sure what it would But be. if I didn't answer, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be annoyed. I'd be like, oh, fair enough, you don't want to tell me, that's if fair enough. Like, <laughs> things like TVs and things like that, you can just go and look it up yourself and then you'll know how much they've paid. Yeah. Um, I guess the only time someone might not want, if you're, if they know you're not interested and they just wanted to know how much you keep spending but that, mm. and judge you some of that. Yeah, but, if it's a one-off, people generally just yeah. answer. And, and you normally know have it if you don't yeah. mind me asking. And if they do mind, they just don't tell you. It's, it's not a big deal, is it? Yeah. Religion, politics, and your finances. So my question for you is, I'm so curious now, how do you feel about these different questions? No, how would you feel if you went to a party, <laughs> imagine it in your head, and someone you don't really know asked you these questions? Well, Let us know the answers to that in the comments below. The link to this channel will also be in the comments below. I mean, I would tell you our opinions, but we have just literally paused the video them. so much yeah. and said it. You know them. You guys know them. So let us know yours. It will be interesting to see. Um, we have had a few comments recently saying well, apparently we don't look at the comments. We don't love and like every single one we, look to fair, every, we, we do look at all of them we don't love every we, we don't love that many because we work eight or half five but i have my phone there i see them popping up i read them a lot of the time we talk about them when we get home but we don't want to go back to a comment to love heart a lot of the time because then it's like oh, well we should do it to the other 500 comments on that video or 100 yeah. comments on that video we do see the majority of them we don't see every single one it'd be impossible we see the majority yeah. Ma mainly we see if you're on a new video yeah. We see a lot more because yeah, we if do you're scan. Early, we, like, if you're one of the, like, the first, whatever, how many so comments, then we do read the first. Definitely, because we're we? always on there checking the first. We don't always love all, and because we don't want to leave people out as well, yeah. but trust me, we do. And I feel like I just want to address it because I've we replied to so many recently because it, and I know it shouldn't annoy me, but it does because I go, yeah, we are seeing it, and I'm making a point of replying to you saying we're seeing it now, but I could have just spent this time replying to someone else. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's frustrating. So. so just yeah, just don't comment. You never reply because if you think we're not going to reply, just don't comment. That's absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, but if you're interested, we will see it. So let us know your thoughts on that below. Smash that like button, guys. Smash that subscribe button. And watch the video. Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.